Hi, Hobo Ryan, reaction YouTuber here. There's been a lot of debate going on recently about is reaction YouTubing and streaming a cancer on society or a viable form of media? Well, I'm here to bring all the counterpoints to why I think this is a viable medium. And that's all I've got. Thanks for, thanks for hearing me out, internet. And remember, if you disagree, I'll pull the trigger and it'll flash really bright and hurt your eyes. You go, ah, God, why? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Rhyme Reacts. Today, folks, we're watching another video from the beautiful, mystical, wonderful man known as Meat Canyon. God damn, that's a tasty little bean. I think I'm devolving into him actually and today folks we're watching tragedy of a reaction streamer a topic that to be honest i actually wanted to make an entire video talking about the pros and cons of reaction youtubing but uh yeah my camera blew up it was like my camera itself said oh shit he's gonna ruin everything and blew up to make sure that I couldn't make that mistake. Well, I'm here like three or four months in the future where nobody gives two shits about it, but I wanted to react to this video anyways. I'll just give you the reader digest version. Don't be XQC and be Mystery Science Theater. There you go. That's that's it. That's all you need to know. But of course, folks, like to get the original link, more for original content career, link me in the description. And also, I'm going to say this because I am a genuine fan of Meat Canyon. Uh, go watch his second channel. I legitimately love it and watch every single one of his uploads. I think he is a very hilarious man. Also, go watch his new podcast, Windagoon. I also really like that. I'm, I'm not kidding when I say I've... I've become a legitimate fan of Meat Canyon since watching his other stuff than his animations. Which is kind of crazy to think that, like, the thing he's most popular for, I was like, ah! And then he just started talking naturally. I'm like, I want to put a ring on his finger. See? I told you reaction YouTubers can give back instead of stealing everything. Now I'm going to steal this entire video for my monetization gain. <laughs> It's fair. At this juncture, I've given him more views than these videos get. So <laughs> now it's fair. As long as I don't get popular, I, I can't I can't beat those numbers if I get popular. Don't get popular. Wow, this is this this is a lot here to take in at the first second. I, you know, I'm glad that they at least got XQC's picture perfect uvula. It looks like the stalactite just like in a stream. Stalactite or stalagmite? The hanging one. Oh wow! And <laughs> Ryan, you have to you have to make a conscious decision if you're gonna make this show. Oh wow! They got marker players from Bob in this animation. <laughs> I already regret it. You, you don't even have to even like put, put together you know, like like what this is crazy. I had it you know, way too loud, and he crazy, jump you know, scared like, me he's, with he's, he's kind of insane, you know, when, when, when his he, picture he perfect this, you know, accent. What, what am I even looking at, Chad? Like this is insane, you know? Like, it's, it's absolutely wild. <gasps> Didn't Michael Jackson have a room like that too? <laughs> you know, you know, I made that joke about Bob, but now I'm looking at her and look at the other one. Kind of looks like gender Ben Bob, Mark, and Wade. I'm just saying, I don't want to be that guy. I and. Yes, I realized that I saw a woman with a tan and I said, that's Markiplier, which would infuriate him and he would bite my shoulder blades off. But isn't that funny? <laughs> also, I want to pause because you bet your sweet Bippy XQC would get millions of dollars and be like, what can I do with all this money? Purchase gold coins with my name on it, decreasing the value of the gold exponentially. <laughs> <laughs> you just bring up valid points, though. There's more valuable items further down. What? What kind of more valuable items does he have? His golden cocks right there. There they are. <laughs> oh my God! Does he replace his eyes? One of these could pay for your family's future. One? Just take a handful of gold coins, and it will. You even notice it being gone. Look how much he already has. It's true. He doesn't notice many things. Why would you take that? Who's gonna buy an eyeball thing? Nobody's gonna buy that. 
What are you gonna sell it on eBay? They'd be like, that's there's too much shipping. But a coin you could ship on eBay. <laughs> well, look at that beautiful chip. You just gotta give him a little and he would grab the treasure and let's get out of here. Classic Wade, right? You can't say that. Oh man, I'm fucked if I cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Did he glue his butt to the chair or is his butt so perfectly wide and bony that it holds the chair perfectly in place? Write your comments down below so this video doesn't seem like I'm stealing his content. <laughs> Meat Canyon Windagoon Podcast. Make sure to check out Meat Canyon Windagoon Podcast. Remember to subscribe and watch all the videos. <laughs> Good save, Ryan. He can't kill you if you keep shilling out his products. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. I legitimately enjoy this content. Okay. Like, I don't really need it or anything. Like, it's crazy, but you're right. Oh, my God. What a good kisser. I got reviews, views, chat. Like, I, I, I need them for YouTube frogs, chat, you know, because people miss the streams. Like, you know what I mean, chat? Like, it's crazy, chat. Like, I, I do, I do, I, I, oh! I, I have a views now, you know, like, it's, what, it's, what, it, it is impressive like, how you can now, use chat. those. I know that I really need them, chat, but. Oh, look at him go. Guys, he literally is crawling on the ground. How can you get beat? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, he really is just like a little gremlin. Oh, he's gonna slide down it? Come on, brother. I mean, to be fair, it is a beautiful treasure vault. Oh, look, he's got eyes on the wall. There's no way to run. So don't even try running because you won't even really come to get past me, chat. Uh, you will pay for what you have done. Uh, I don't even need this gold chat, but it's mine. Now give me your eyes. I will take your eyes. So cool. Everything about this is so cool. The eye gimmick where he's holding the two eyes kind of similar like that uh, monster from that Del Toro movie with the eyes in his hands. Oh, and the eyes being perfect, like it's what's viewing everything. His most valuable thing he owns is his eyes looking upon something, which is a commentary on reacting, that your eyes are more valuable, that your eyes create money. Oh, oh, me canyon, you sneaky little dog. Also, I don't like how I have been sitting like him <laughs> identically. <laughs> oh my God. Oh no. I'm no different than XQC. Ah! Just like your friends, I will take your friends' eyes. I will take your eyes again. I will do it again. Chat, you will join them <laughs> soon enough and be here forever to say with me. Do you think XQC I actually sees? <laughs> oh! oh, that's such a cool shot. Oh my god, he finds it more valuable than the gold itself. Holy smokes, that's so good. <laughs> Just take a couple gold coins. How hard would it be to grab a handful of coins? Don't pity him. Don't give him a pity look. He just sucked the eyeballs out of your friend, Wade. Typical Wade getting him, his friends killed, though. That's that's a classic. Legitimately? Really enjoyed that. Me Cannon is at its best when he can tell a story about a YouTuber like Nikki Avocado. This has symbolism all over it and it makes legitimately an interesting story of XQC and turning him into like the perfect monster. Taking almost like the sins of a creator and making it into a more grandiose creature is what he is so freaking good at this was awesome this was legit awesome i love meat canyon when he tells a story then instead of just using the old gross out humor i get why he uses the gross out humor and gross stuff because it gets views and then you send it to your friends and your friends watch and they go ah and then they send it to the next friends it's how this all comes down and idiots like me react to it because then you go ha ha look at this doofus screaming ha ha wee but this this was really well done. It was gorgeous. The story was interesting. And being able to tell it in about four minutes, 
This was awesome. I hope Meat Canyon does more stuff like this. Now, I know he did one with Taylor Swift and uh, legitimately got attacked by the Swifties, which is uh, hilarious because we all know that Meat Canyon is more powerful than they could ever imagine. No matter what entity comes into this world that has power, Meat Canyon can turn them into a spooky little monster and probably make them, like, suck their own toe and everyone goes, <laughs> And then that person's life is ruined. He controls the world with his animations. And that's why I'm scared of Meat Canyon. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoy, remember to subscribe, leave a like down below, write a comment about this video. Is there anything I missed, like, symbolism-wise that I, like, completely glossed over? Because I legitimately would like to know. Because I do find these videos infinitely more fascinating because I can pick it apart frame by frame. Also, will Bob Wade and Mark beat the living shit out of me for this joke? <laughs> Don't worry, I have leverage. I have a single episode of Unis Honest on my computer and will threaten to upload it if Markiplier tries to kill me. <laughs> it's my most grandiose plan of them all. I just hover over the button like, Don't do it, Mark. Don't do it. Don't put on that silly suit and do the silly voice and say you're Darkiplier. It's really freaking kind of cringy and is not as good as your content where you act normal and you just yourself having fun. Don't make me notice. He would end up killing me anyways. I couldn't stop Markiplier. He is, I think, at Eldred God level. <clears throat> oh shit, he's already starting. But anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.